Hey, aren't you Michaela? Yeah, I am. Hey, I'm Eddie. Hey. I met you hey. after the Tabernacle yeah, show. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. I saw your name on the list. Oh, yeah? When I got the email. Yeah, I was on the last, I was on the last one. I, was I know. To get on this one, too. Remember I interviewed you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and my battery ran out on my camera. <laughs> yeah. But I'm stoked, man. I can't wait. It's going to be great. You're not nervous at all, right? No, I'm good. <laughs> hey, they go around and like they sign everything first. Yeah. That's... And then they go, hey, hang out, we got so much time. Yeah. And everyone hangs out, gets pictures individually. And, like you get yourself signed and then you take a picture. Mm -hmm. That's what it's like. Yeah. Man, where is my pen? Paint marker. It's too super crowded. Hey, Hello, how are you? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've got this pen. I hope it doesn't take forever to dry. I love the packaging on that. Y'all did such a cool job. Oh, thanks. It was originally we were going to make it like an actual box. Right. That's what you said. Yeah. It would have cost $20 more. Yeah, we couldn't figure it out. What's up, Taylor? How's it going, man? Watch out for the paint mark. I'm afraid it's going to smear. Yeah, I'm trying to Thank you. Man, I was blown away when I found out that you were in the band before Haley and Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was kind of a, it wasn't, it was Paramore, but it wasn't. It was like an early incarnation. So I But I was, but I wasn't. Well, I looked on the credits on the first record and I saw your name next. Conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've seen about that. That's awesome. Like we wrote I'm, I'm going to skip from this side. I've heard that. Yeah. 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 That's so good. Awesome. Listen, man, uh, I want to tell you, and this, yeah, this sounds like melodramatic or something, but your band has restored my faith in modern music. Because I got to a time in my life where I figured I'll never, there'll never be another new band that'll, that'll set my heart on fire, and I was wrong. And you, man, you are a badass. I mean, I, I can't even remember. It's been a long time since I heard a drummer that really just kicked my ass, man. I know, isn't it? You're, you're very interested. As a matter of fact, there you go. As a matter of fact, though, have you ever heard of a guy named Scott Rockenfield? He's a drummer for a band called Queensryche. They're an 80s metal band. I don't know. Are we doing gifts right now or not? I don't know. Anyway, good. That means you've never heard this. Yeah, I have not. The only way I can describe it, when, the first time I heard it, I felt like I was listening to something that was recorded like 50 years in the future, you know? It's like metal, but it's kind of gothic. And it's dark, but it's not like evil. You know what I mean? It's very dramatic, and of course, '80s was very larger than life. You know, but the drummer is amazing. I can't believe how many people are here. I wonder, when I watch this back, I wonder if I'm going to get the tops of everybody's heads, especially Haley. Like, where's Haley? You see, there's a little red on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Probably trying to get her not to do these too. Well, yeah. I mean, we. I mean, well, it's just the thing is, it's just literally quiet all the way up until this kind of thing. You know what and I'm saying? Yeah. She does her thing. Yeah, and, and then right after the show, she warms down, and then nothing. And she, she has to watch. And think about how hard that is she, for a woman. She, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and not only that, but we get off stage. We get off stage at like 11 or something like that, and she's she's not allowed to eat after eight, like after 8 p.m. Oh yeah, she's but, strong. But, but, what does eating have to do with it? It has a lot to do with it. With what, what, a lot of like acid reflux stuff. Yeah. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything. Wow. It really sucks. So she's on a strict, like, schedule of when she does it. Yeah, exactly. But it's all right. I mean, 
it's getting better because she's doing that, <clears throat> but it just kind of makes it to where we can't play songs like my art stuff that we actually want to play. So because of so, the high end notes yeah, or what? Yeah, because well, of and, that, I mean, and the like, scream and the dan. Yeah, a lot <laughs> yeah, of but that was Josh. Josh. <laughs> Josh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. Oh, yep. I'm, I was afraid this was going to smear, but it draws pretty good. I love the packaging of this, man. Yeah, it's it looks awesome, awesome right? We yeah, wanted yeah. it to look like it was we were on tour. Yeah. So it looks like a very cool. flight case for a tour box or whatever. Hey, I wanted to ask you uh, who your favorite bass players are, like old Ooh. school. Oh, man. Uh, I love Victor Wooten. Like, just, even though it's not... Like I know that ours, name, but I don't know. Victor Wooten. He's just one, like one of the best bass players I've ever lived. Just go type in Victor Wooten. So he's not part of a band? Well, he's, he's in a bunch of different bands. Okay. He's like oh, so he's a working in project. Basis yeah. for hire. He's in, uh, he's in bands, a different band, with, all, with some of his brothers and stuff called Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones. But uh, look up Victor Wooten. Yeah. He's all, his, his stuff is crazy. Just go check it out. I promise you. I'll, I'll start with I'm sure you've heard Getty Lee before, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's oh, my, that's, that's where I come from, you know. Nice. Steve Harris. Yeah. Myron Maiden. I love it, dude. Um, Oh my gosh. I know. I know. Yeah. You're trying to rush you along? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Uh, the struggle. Oh, yeah. They would. They would. And we would too. They would stay here all night. I can't see. Feels really good to be back here from England because it was like negative 10 degrees. I didn't get to give Haley any one of my presents. <laughs> I was wearing like I three coats. I'll get another chance. Yeah, when you take a picture, we can get it. And usually they're leaving out. I don't know if they will or not. I know, it depends on how much time they have. Yeah, I'd rather be really hot than really cold. Yeah, that's true. Because it was like rainy and cold that long. Kind of like that. A girl's got, she had a girl scout there. Did you bring it? I shall ask. Come on, Haley, turn around. I mean, yes, you've got a nice backside, but yeah, you know, still. That guy's older than me. I can't believe it. Thank you. 